Oh, hi. <laughs> Rub a balloon on your hair and bring it near another balloon hanging by a string. There's an invisible field pushing the two balloons apart. When you rub the balloon on your hair, you're transferring electrons from your hair onto the surface of the balloon. Now, the balloon's made of rubber. Electrons don't flow through it the way they do through a metal wire. Instead, they stay on the surface of the rubber. We use the word static electricity, which means electricity that stays. Now, different materials have different properties. Here's a stiff rubber rod and a piece of fur. It's like rubbing a rubber balloon on my hair. It also will push the balloon away. But watch what happens when I use the same piece of fur and this glass rod. It pulls the balloon toward it. So in the first case, we say they have like charges, like static charges, so they repel. In this case, they have opposite static charges, so they attract. You can try different materials and different experiments. Here's some rubber making scraps of paper jump around. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> or you can try two at once. Here's a repelling rod and an attracting rod. Repelling, attracting. I'm, 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 I'm experimenting. <laughs>